Howdy y'all, this here is Big Country with Big Country Survival. And today we're going to talk about, you know, some basic tools. Basic tools that should be owned by every American male um, or female. I mean, they just, they just should be in every American household and you ought to have a basic understanding of how to use them. I mean... And, and that's part of the problem is people don't know how to do stuff anymore. I'm not saying you got to be a master electrician, a master plumber, and a master contractor. Um, but you got to have a basic understanding and basic knowledge of how to do these things. All right? And these are just some of the tools. Um, you know, you could keep going on and on and on with a laundry list of things. I'm going to tell you some things that are not here. Um... Well, I don't have a hacksaw. I've got some hacksaw blades here, but a hacksaw, a good hacksaw or a, a basic saw is a is a, a good thing to have. I don't have one right here now to show you, but but that is on the list. Um, I'm not talking about hatchets or axes. Um, that'll be for another video. This is just basic in home stuff, right? So. And I'll, I'll this will be a series. I'll do videos on, you know, your vehicle and and the farm, the yard, farm slash yard, um, and just basic things that you're gonna want to have around. And I'll do a materials video for in home, and I'll do materials for uh, other, you know, aspects here as well. Um, and this is just stuff that everybody ought to own, um, in one form, fashion, or another. All right, we'll start off with something that most people probably do have, but never think about. Is a good pair of scissors. Well, these are fairly cheap. These are just basic scissors. Um, you know, they're not for paper. They're this look like a contractor kind of scissors, I guess you could say, or a garden yard scissors. Um, but scissors are really handy to have around. Um, so you want to get you a set of them. While I'm thinking of it, good tool bag. Um, aside from a toolbox, if you either or this way, this is actually my box I typically have been using for uh, uh, working on my well pump. Uh, I have the set tools already put aside in there, so when I have to go out at 11 o'clock at night because I don't have water, um, I've got these basic tools with me. Um, basic tools and materials and I'm like I said I'm not talking materials right now just tools um, something you're going to want to have is a good set of dikes um, pliers is also on this list um, but I don't have a good well other than my multi-tool and my EDC I don't have a, a set of pliers here at the table um, but uh, y'all ought to know what pliers are so I do have These aren't needle nose, but good set of pliers, or a set of pliers. So you're gonna want to have a set of dikes, otherwise known as side cuts. Uh, you know, but I've always called them dikes. They've always been dikes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna call them. <laughs> um, and then a set, of, couple sets of pliers. Um, these aren't needle nose, but just good pliers. Um, so you're going to want them. You are going to want some screwdrivers. Flat heads. And they don't have to be these long ones. You can have short stubbies. I mean, they, they make them in all different sizes. But you're going to want at least some of your basic Phillips and flathead screwdrivers to have around. Most things in, in home are Phillips and flathead. Um, they, they're doing a lot of stuff in them Torx bits now, too. Um, and a lot with uh, an Allen wrench as well. But, uh, but if you only have, you know, Phillips and flatheads, you can do most things with a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. Many sizes, I mean, but you can pick those things up for cheap. I mean, go to Harbor Freight, you can pick them up cheap. Um, you're going to want to have some pipe wrenches or a pipe wrench. This is an Irwin pipe wrench. It's pretty good. Pretty good little pipe wrench. Let's see, 10 inch. 
couldn't remember, <laughs> remember the size on it. But, you know, pipe wrench, basic plumbing, things like that. That goes in my well bag. <laughs> you won't want to have a pry bar. A lot of uses, multi-use for a pry bar. You don't want to have one of them. Put them back in the bag so I don't forget about them. I want you to have your set of channel locks. And I know, or slotted, a slotted wrench or something like that is what it's actually called. But they've always been channel locks to me. I mean, you know what these things are. I want you to have a set of them. Uh, they're a pretty handy tool. Pretty handy tool to keep around. You are going to want to have crescent wrenches. Um, for me, I can do 90% of what I do, um, including my profession, with an 8, a 10, and a 12 inch crescent wrench. They make them smaller than an 8 and bigger than a 12. But an 8, a 10, and a 12 will do 90% of what you need it to do. Um, so get you those. This is a 10 inch crescent wrench, by the way. Um, Job Smart or something. Or just a no name. Yeah, just a. Yeah, it's a Job Smart, which is the tractor supply brand. Um, but a couple of crescent wrenches. Handy to keep around. Basic maintenance. Flashlight, good work flashlight. This one, actually, the battery's dead on it, but all I gotta do is pull that thing out. I've got a battery bar or a light bar across it, or I can use it as a regular flashlight. Um, something like this is good to keep in a tool bag. Like I said, the batteries are dead on this one. I need to change them. But flashlight's something good to keep around. C-clamps. Don't want you to have some C-clamps. These are, I can't remember what size they are. Use one of my other tools. Okay, it's about two and a quarter. As the mouth on them is about two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter. So, uh, probably by the time it's probably would be that'd be a two inch. Uh, by the time the foot on there, that'd be a two inch. But there's so many uses for C clamps. I mean, you don't have a vice, like a shop vice, or even if you do, and you're working on something somewhere else, these things are good to have around. Whether you're working with wood, steel, any of that, it just they're they're good to have. Um, you want to have a chisel? These things are good. Hit them with a hammer and busting stuff up. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of uses for good chisel, steel chisel, I mean a wood chisel, just, but, you know, just these basic chisels. Is, I actually picked up, and, and the thing about these are, these tools, most of them can either be picked up for cheap at Harbor Freight, um, or some of those kinds of stores, um, or you can pick them up at, at um, flea markets, which is actually where this came from. Um, this came from a flea market, and I paid like two bucks for about five of these things, so they're good to keep around. Um, you're going to want you a level or two. This is only a two-foot level. Um, you know, I've got me a four-foot, um, two-foot. I've got down to like a bullet level, you know, that's about that, about gay long. And then I have a string level as well um get you some twine run it across it's good for making sure like you use it on uh on um uh what's it stacking block um you know building block walls things like that masonry um you know it's got a lot of uses for that it's good to make sure that everything is square uh in your house speaking of square something else this ain't a very big square but you know they make speed squares slide squares framing squares um, you know and those are all handy to keep around um, but just basic squares um, you 
you get the purpose of them, right? Make sure you got everything in a 90 degree angle. And they ain't that hard. <laughs> uh, so now a tape measure. That's another good thing to have around. Every every household ought to have a tape measure. This is only a 25 foot, which for most stuff in the house, you know, most of your rooms, I would hope, well, most people's houses, their rooms in their house are not bigger than 25 foot, I don't think. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> but uh, good tape measure. This is a Stanley Fat Max. I swear by these things. Um, Stanley does not endorse me or anything like that right i just really like my stanley fat max tape measures um and i use a tape on a daily basis um for my job and these things are easy to read you can see the lines really well um it measures up to or down to a 16th um you know i don't like them to go to a 32nd it um, for the sake of keeping this child friendly, I'm not going to say what we call those marks <laughs> so in in the in the job <laughs> or on the job. <laughs> but uh, but no, good tape measure is good. This is also assembled in the U.S., um, which I like. Uh, I think I paid 14 bucks for this 25 foot tape measure. You can buy them cheaper than that I mean well not these but you can buy cheap tape measures but this thing I mean I can go a long way right now I'm out to about 12 feet I mean and my tape is it didn't break down well I just did there but that was me trying to move it more <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good tape measure. I, I like I said, I swear by these things. So, get but if you buy a cheapie, get a cheapie. I mean, that's fine. But you want a good tape measure. You're gonna want your claw hammer. That's for pulling nails, guys. Just so you know, you know. I, I'm sure most of you think I'm insulting your intelligence on that, but I've had people actually not know what this was for. Um, you can use it for a pry bar. I mean, it's just a good multi-purpose hammer, right? If you can only have one hammer, a claw hammer is what you want. Well, not necessarily this one, because this is a real cheap one for, it's a finishing hammer, actually. Uh, put a finishing nail in there and starts that. It's just not got a lot of weight to it, and I don't really care for it, but, um, but it will work. That's what you can get. And then last but not least, I swear by shop hammers. Uh, this is only a one pound shop hammer. I mean, it's good for busting stuff up. You can use it in conjunction. Where did I put it? Use it in conjunction with your chisel. Um, and then here's my three pound and it's got a wedge on it. So that maximizes the force that you would put down. Um, it's good for busting stuff up. Uh, so, those are some basic tools I think ought to be in every American household. And some of them maybe, you know, you could do without, you know, the shop hammer, things like that. Um, but, but, you know, these are basic tools I think ought to be in every American home. Um, you know, it, it brings about the way of being self-reliant, more self-reliant, more self-sufficient. Um, like I said, I'm not saying you got to be a master electrician or a master carpenter, but you ought to be able to do some basic stuff. Um, you know, that's to me what preparedness is all about is self-reliance, being able to do these things. Um, so y'all let me know what you think. Um, I'll do a materials video next, I'd say. Um, until next time, <clears throat> this here is Big Country with Big Country Survival. Signing out. God bless.